Hi students, today we are going to learn the third chapter in our English textbook. Okay, so it is a short story. The name of the short story is the story of Agash. Agash is the narrator in this story. Who is a narrator? Narrator is the person who tells us the story. So this story is narrated by Agash. So when we hear the name Agash, we will think that it is a boy. But actually, Agash is the sky itself. Okay, the sky is personified here and is called Agash in this story. So the sky or Agash is explaining or narrating a short story to us. Now let us look into the story. Take your textbook and page number 26. Open page number 26. So the story of Agash. The sky holds many wonderful things. One day, Ramu also comes across one of the wonders of the sky. Ramabhadra Narayana Murti was a very big name for a very little boy. I remember him as Ramu, which was what everybody called him. He lived in a small village near the foot of a mountain. His home was a mud hut with a thatched roof. He had helped his family build it. Ramu wore a cotton dhoti and a simple jacket. He herded and milked his father's cows and collected firewood. He was a playful boy who loved to climb trees and play in the expansive green fields. He relished the hot gruel his mother cooked for him on a simmering Call fire. So, this is the first paragraph. Now, let us go into the story in detail. Ramabhadra Narayana Murthy was a very big name for a very little boy. Okay, so the hero or uh, the uh, person, uh, the major character in the story is Ramu and his full name was Ramabhadra Narayana Murthy. Okay, so he is a little boy. Hmm? Ramu was a little boy, but this name, Rama Bhadra Narayana Murthy, was a big name for such a little kid. Okay, so I remember him as Ramu, which was what everybody called him. So it is difficult to call him this whole name all the time. So people shortly called him Ramu. So the narrator here, who is the narrator? The sky. The sky is telling that the sky remember him as Ramu. Ramu was the name everyone called him. He lived in a small village near the foot of a mountain. Okay, so where did Ramu live? He lived in a small village at the foot of a mountain. That means the bottom part of a mountain. He lived at the foot of a mountain. His home was a mud hut with a thatched roof. Okay, so wh what is about wh what is it about his home? It was a mud hut. Okay, it was a uh, hut made with mud and it was thatched. What is the meaning of thatched? T H A T C H E D. Thatched. What is the meaning of it? A house roof made with a plant leaves okay so now nowadays it is not common but in olden days the people usually lived in mud huts and these huts were made with the roofs made of plant leaves so this thing is called a thatched if a hut is uh, huts roof is uh, completely covered with plant leaves then it is thatched so ramu lived in a thatched mud hut okay he had helped his family build it. Okay, so Ma Ramu was also taking part in making this small hut for his family. Ramu wore a cotton dhoti and a simple jacket. Okay, so what was his uh, attire? He used to wear a cotton dhoti. Dhoti means uh, a cloth which we wear. Okay, so he used to wear a cotton dhoti and a simple jacket. What is a jacket? J A C K E T jacket. What is the meaning? Short coat with sleeves. Okay, so a jacket is a short coat with sleeves. So Ramu used to wear a short coat with sleeves. That is a jacket and cotton dhoti. Then 
he heard it and milked his father's cows and collected firewood okay what did he do he heard it and milked his father's cows and collected firewood what is the meaning of herded h e r d e d herded herded the meaning is kept and looked after so what did he kept and look after he kept and looked after his father's cows and he also collected firewood okay he collected firewood and he also herded and milked his father's cows he was a playful boy who loved to climb trees and play in the expansive green fields okay so he was a playful boy okay most of the children are playful likewise ramu was also a playful boy and what did he like he loved to climb trees as all the children out there ramu also like to climb trees and he also like to play in the expansive green fields expansive what is the meaning of expansive e x p a n s i v e expansive the meaning is covering a wide area okay so ramu like to climb trees and he also like to play in the expansive green fields expansive green field means these green fields were covering a great and wide area so he like to play in this expansive green fields as well as he also loved to climb trees he relished the hot gruel his mother cooked for for him in a simmering coal fire okay so he relished the hot gruel what is the meaning of relished r e l i s h e d -E. relished the meaning is enjoyed greatly okay so he enjoyed greatly what did he enjoy greatly the hot gruel what is gruel g r u e l gruel the meaning is food boiled in milk or water okay so he his mother used to cook him gruel gruel means food boiled in milk or water okay so his mother used to make him gruel and he also he liked to eat this hot gruel and uh, which which his mother cooked for him on a simmering coal fire simmering what is the meaning of simmering s i m m e r i n g simmering the meaning is to heat just below boiling point okay so his mother used to make this uh, gruel in simmering coal fire simmering coal fire means uh, this coal is burning but it does not have any fire it is still burning but without any fire in li likewise in that kind of heat his mother used to kick, cook him some uh, gruel so ramu also used to like eating this hot gruel cooked by his mother the second paragraph one day ramu's father sent him on an errand he was to go to the next village to bring some medicines from the doctor for his sick granny and get back as soon as he could remember ramu his father said you must return home right after the job is done no dilly dallying there is a solar eclipse today and you must not be outside under any circumstances go fast so this is the second paragraph it is a conversation between his father ramu's father and ramu and ramu's father is giving some kind of warning let us look what this warning is one day ramu's father sent him on an errand so ramu's father sent him on an errand what is an errand E R R A N D a rent the meaning is a short journey to deliver or collect something okay so uh, an errand is a short journey we make to collect or deliver something so when we go to the shop to buy some small things then it is an errand so likewise ramu's father sent him on an errand one day he was to go to the next village to bring some medicines from the doctor for his sick granny and get back as soon as he could okay so what was the errand he was sent for he was supposed to go to the next village not the uh, village in which he was staying he has to go to the next village and what was the purpose 
to bring some medicines from the doctor for his sick granny okay so his granny granny means grandmother his grandmother or granny was sick and he has to buy some medicine from the next village there is a doctor in the next village he has to go there and buy the medicines and he also have to get back soon as soon as possible okay as soon as possible he have to get back so what is the reason his father is saying remember ramu he, uh, his father is telling him to remember to remember what you must return home right after the job is done okay so you cannot waste any time right after the job is done like that means right after you buy the medicine you have to return back home no dilly dallying okay so what is the meaning of dilly dallying dilly dallying means d i l l y dilly hyphen dallying d a l l y i n g dilly dallying the meaning is waste time through useless wandering okay so small children always used to wander here and there whenever they are sent for some things okay they cannot concentrate on anything likewise ramu also you like to wander he was a playful boy so his father is warning him not to dilly dally that means not to waste time by wandering somewhere okay he have to get back soon as soon as possible without dilly dallying there is a solar eclipse today and you must not be outside under any circumstances go fast so his father is telling today there is a solar eclipse what is a solar eclipse solar eclipse means an eclipse in which the sun is obscured by the moon so what happens during a solar eclipse the sun is obscured that means covered by the moon the moon comes between the sun and the earth likewise the sun uh, gets completely covered so this is a solar eclipse so his father is telling him that there will be a solar eclipse so you have to return home you sh should not uh, wander around in the outside out, uh, at any circumstances whatever circumstances you have you should not wander what's the meaning of circumstances c i r c u m s t a n c e s circumstances the meaning is situations whatever situations happens you shall not wander around the town or the village you have to come back as soon as possible because there is a solar eclipse what is a solar eclipse the covering of the sun by the moon so this is a solar eclipse so because of that his father is warning him to get uh, get back home soon ramu interrupted his father with a child's curiosity why is it dangerous father during an eclipse the rays reaching the earth are harmful as the sun is not so strong one is tempted to look at it directly which can result in losing one's eyesight so i want you indoors well before noon when the eclipse can be sighted run as fast as your legs can carry you i must finish my work in the field by then too said ramu's father patting him on his shoulder so what happened next ramu interrupted his father with a child's curiosity okay so ramu interrupted his father what is the meaning of interrupted i n t e r r u p t e d interrupted what is the meaning to say or do something that makes somebody stop so the meaning of interrupted is to do or say something that makes somebody stop so ramu's father was telling him to return back home as soon as possible because of the eclipse so he interrupted ramu interrupted his father while he was saying this so wha what happened then he was interrupting his father with a child's curiosity he has a child's curio curiosity what is the meaning of curiosity c u r i o s i t y curiosity the meaning is a strong desire to know curiosity means a strong desire to know so now ramu wanted to know what happens in solar eclipse okay so what is it why is it dangerous father by interrupting his father he is asking him why, why is it dangerous why is it dangerous to go out during a solar eclipse so what happens then his father is replying 
During an eclipse, the rays reaching the earth are harmful. Okay, so what happens during an eclipse? The rays, what are rays? Rays are narrow lines of light. The light of the moon, narrow lines of light from the sun is interrupting us. It falls over our earth. During an eclipse, the rays reaching the earth are harmful. Harmful means which is something which is not good for us. Okay, so the uh, rays reaching the earth during an eclipse are harmful. It is dangerous to our health. Then as the sun is not so strong, one is tempted to look at it directly which can result in losing one's eyesight. Okay, so the sun is covered by moon. So it at these times the sun is not so strong and during these times we people are tempted we wanted to look at the sun so what happens then at this time the rays are not comfortable these rays are harmful so our temptation makes us to look directly at the sun and which causes us to lose our eyesight if we look at the sun during the solar eclipse we may even lose our eyesight so that is the reason why his father want him not to stay anywhere, not to dilly dally anywhere and come home as soon as possible. Then, so I want you indoors well before noon when the eclipse can be sighted. So, indoors, what is the meaning of indoors? I N D double O R S, indoors. The meaning is inside a building. So, the, his father is telling that. I want you to be indoors. I want you to be inside some building where you will not be reached by the sun's rays. I want you indoors well before the noon when the eclipse can be sighted. So the eclipse can be sighted during the noon time. It can be seen at the noon time. So I want you to return back home before noon so that you will not fall under the rays of the harmful sun. Then run as fast as your legs can carry you okay so what should you do you have to buy the medicine and run back as fast as you can okay as fast as you can you have to return back home then i must finish my work in the field by then too so what shall i do you have to go to the other village buy the medicines and come back at the same time i will complete my works at the field too then said ramu's father patting him on his shoulder so how did he say this he said this by patting ramu on his shoulder what is the meaning of patting p a t t i n g friendly touch with an open hand the meaning of patting is friendly touch with an open hand so what did ramu's father do he patted ramu's back with love and care and told him to return back without losing his eyesight as soon as possible Filled with a sense of importance and urgency, Ramu walked first to the nearby village and reached there in less than an hour. There, he went straight to the Vaidya, an Ayurvedic physician, and described his grandest condition. The wizened old man nodded as if he had not heard it all before. He prepared the special medicine he always made for frail grannies, constant and awful to take. The problem was he went off to search for the herbs in the jungle nearby and did not return for an hour and a half. Poor Ramu was getting very, very tense indeed. When finally the old man returned, he spent another 15 minutes pounding and grinding a variety of little green herbs and dried nuts. When he had finished, Ramu gave him the bag of grains which his father had sent as payment and short of as fast as his legs could carry him. Okay, so the next one is a long paragraph. So what happens here? Filled with a sense of importance and urgency, Ramu walked first to the nearby village and reached there in less than an hour. Okay, so what did he feel after hearing what his father's father told him? He felt a sense of important. He felt that whatever his father told was very important and he have to obey it and with urgency. Urgency means to do something immediately okay so he wanted to complete the task given by his father with urgency and importance and what did he do he walked for first 
to the nearby village and reached there in less than an hour okay so what did he do he walked for fast he walked as fast as he can and he walked into the nearby village in less than an hour he reached the nearby village in less than an hour there he went straight to the vaidya an ayurvedic physician and described his granny's condition and what did he do after reaching the village he met with the vaidya who is a vaidya an ayurvedic physician okay a do doctor who practices ayurveda okay so there was an ayurvedic physician or vaidya ramu went straight to the vaidya and described his granny's condition to this doctor or this vaidya what did he do he went straight to the vaidya and described his granny's condition to him and what did the vaidya do the wizened old man nodded as if he had not heard it all before okay so the wizened old man what is the meaning of wizened here w i z e n e d wizened wizened means wrinkled with age so we can see some kind of wrinkles on old people's faces and skin right likewise this vaidya was also an old man so he had many wrinkles on his body so this wizened old man nodded what is the meaning of nodding nodding means to move up and down you, to move your head up and down in a, in order to agree to something okay so likewise the vaidya nodded to everything that ramu told him and what did he do why how did he hear it as if he had not heard it all before okay so why they already know about granny's condition but ramu was a small child a child and he had to listen to ramu so the vaidya heard it all and nodded to ramu as if he had not heard it all before then what happens next he prepared the special medicine he always made for frail granny's constant and awful toothache okay so after hearing whatever ramu told him the vaidya prepared a special medicine he always uh, give, used to give this granny a special medicine he prepared it for him always made for frail granny what is the meaning of frail f r a i l frail frail means weak so the granny was weak with old age so the um granny was frail and he, she had a constant and awful to take what is the meaning of awful a w f u l awful awful means very bad okay so this granny used to have a very bad to take so what did he do the vaidya made the special medicine he always used to prepare for this frail granny then The problem was he went off to search the herbs in the jungle nearby and did not return for an hour and a half okay so ramu's father told him to return as soon as possible but what happened the vaidya had to spend almost one and a half hour in the nearby jungle to collect the herbs what are herbs herbs are medicinal plants plants used for making medicines are called the herbs so this uh, vaidya went to the next jungle and he collected enough medicinal plants and the problem was that he took almost one and a half hour to find all this medicines then poor ramu was getting very very tense indeed okay so his father asked him to return as soon as possible but because of this vaidya is making it too slow he cannot return fast then when finally the old man returned he spent another 15 minutes pounding and grinding a variety of little green herbs and dried nuts so what did he do after collecting all this uh, plants from the jungle the vaidya returned at at last he returned and what happened then he spent almost another 15 minutes grinding and pounding herbs what is pounding pounding means p o u n d i n g pounding the meaning of pounding is repeatedly hitting on something so the vaidya was repeatedly hitting on some kind of herbs and he also grinded it grinding g r i n d i n g grinding means 
crushing something. So, this Vaidya grinded and pounded on this herbs. What are herbs? Medicinal plants. Medicinal plants are called uh, herbs. Okay. So, this Vaidya started pounding and grinding on this medicinal plants for almost 15 minutes. When he had finished, Ramu gave him the bag of grains which his father had sent as a payment and shot off as fast as his legs could carry him. Okay, so after the Vaidya prepared and gave him the medicine, what did uh, Ramu do? Ramu gave the bag of grains. They carry grains in small bags. So he gave this bag of grains to the Vaidya as a payment for the medicine. Okay, so he gave the bag of grains to the Vaidya as a gift and what did he do he shot off that means he went off as soon as possible he ran off as soon as possible from the vaidya's place